to making life easier. <coughs> no one has more hacks up their <laughs> sleeve than our very own Alison Hammond. Some of them work, some of them don't. Well, she is back now to show us some more of her amazing Hammond home hacks. I get hacks. a little bit nervous doing this because I feel like I've got to sell it to you. <laughs> These yeah. are just alternative things that you can do. You don't have to do you it. You do have to sell it to me because one of your last hacks involving spaghetti at a light wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, this one is... My first hack is with spaghetti again. <laughs> <laughs> back off the spaghetti. Gonna, you're going to like this one, though. So right. imagine you've just cooked... <laughs> oh, oh hello. Uh, you've just cooked your spaghetti mm -hmm. in the pan. Yeah. Normally you'd put your colander in the sink. So imagine that's your sink there. You put your colander in and then you pour this in. Yeah. Do you normally do that? I normally I do that. that. We've been doing it wrong, babes. We've been doing it wrong. You put your colander in the what's spaghetti it called? pan. That's it. That's <laughs> it. And then you pour it into the sink like so. That's what you do. Is that a good hack or what? It is. I'm just thinking about all the boiling water going all, uh, all over the place. No, but that's the sink, remember? Yeah, no, but you've got your hands in the side of the pan. That's a really good point. I didn't really assess that very well. <laughs> I just thought it was a really good hack. I think, I think that oh, I think it was really a hack good. has to save you something. Oh. That is like the same, but yeah. just different. But then you've got your lovely spaghetti there, yeah, look, all ready to go. Back in the colander. <laughs> yeah. So, moving on, I think you're going to like this one. This is all about lemons. You know when you fancy a little bit of honey and lemon and you chop it in half and you squeeze it out? So look, it's gone everywhere already. And the pips come out and then you're oh, trying to get the pips. Well, you don't need to do that anymore. All you need to do is get one of these wooden skewers, put it into the, the lemon like so, like that. Give it a little rub and then you just go like that. No way. Now that is really good. Come on, that is good. That's and then so good. say you don't want any more, you just put it back in the fridge like this. Look, it's just like never ending. <laughs> oh, I did go all the way through the other side, but look at that. Well, oh, that's I so think that's, good. That's, that's good. Yeah, I like that you one. You like that one. Yeah. So that then when really you good. finish with that, just put it back in the fridge, it stays cool. Great hack. Very good. What about this one? You know when you, you've got your... Oh, I've got a pip on there. Hold on. There we go. And we've got some butter here. You know when you've got freezing cold butter and it's too hard to put on your yes. toast? Yes. Wow, don't worry. Get a glass of boiling hot water, pop your butter on top and it melts it. Or alternatively, get your freezing cold butter and just grate it onto, <laughs> onto the toast. Like so, <laughs> like so. And then you just pop it onto the toast and then it will obviously melt. I like that one. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. I think you peaked at lemon. <laughs> no, 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 I haven't peaked yet. Check this one out. You know when you buy a bottle of wine? Yeah. And it's not cold, but you want it now? Yeah. Well, all you need to do is get some paper towels, wet them, put it around the bottle, put it in the fridge for 15 minutes and it comes out ice cold. How come? I don't know. It's just a law of physics. But honestly, it's freezing cold. Or alternatively, you could freeze some grapes, mm. put good. the grapes into a cup, then yeah. put your wine in. And obviously, it doesn't water down your no, wine. No, that is good. I like eating frozen grapes anyway. Do you? They're like ice cream. It's, really? like, it's like grape sorbet. Mm. Let's try it. They're so nice. Oh, it's freezing. You've got to, if got you've got sensitive teeth, what are you going to do now? <laughs> oh, it oh, is not. Oh. They're nice though, aren't they? Really nice. I know. There's a, there's a holly <laughs> home hack. <laughs> Never know. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, right. I have to get rid of that. I was too cold. OK, what about this one? So you've got your phone. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're watching a video and you don't want to hold it. Well, all you need is a paper clip. You just bend it like so. Then you put it down and then you put your phone into the paper clip. And as you can see, it's holding your phone up for you to watch your show. So lift, lift your phone up so we can see which bit we've actually got. <laughs> so that is the paper clip there. And then does see? it just pop back on there? And then you just pop it in like so. <laughs> and then it holds oh! your phone. However, it did take me that many times to get this right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it that many times in order to get it. But once you've got it, you've got it for good. So you got you can just take your little paper clip. Very around. good. Okay, moving on to which one shall I do? I've got this hanger. This is really good. So this is like a trouser hanger. So you know when you've got your <laughs> your cooking book in the kitchen and you don't want to put all your dirty fingers on it and stuff like that. Well, you just put it on a trouser hanger, <laughs> hang it up, and then you can read your recipe. 
He's a yeah, lovely like cat. He's a lovely cat. He is a good thing. He just idea. looks funny. Look, he even sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, really good. Or what about laminate floors, kids' socks, slipping everywhere? Just get yourself a little bit of fabric paint, pop it on the bottom, and you've got non stick socks. Why well, does uh, fabric glue non stick? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to have a look? Yeah. There you go. Or non-slip. Oh, no, no it's, it just, it's just fabric paint. Is it? Yeah, and it, it dries. Is, I, I thought it would go flat, but it is so like So it bobbly. makes it non-sticky, really good tip. Very good. Now, here's the Pete's dinner resistance. The what? <laughs> <laughs> the priest's dinner resistance. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> so this old pair of leggings, what you need to do is you need to fold the leggings in, I'm going to make a T-shirt out of this. Okay. What you need to do is you need to... I bet you didn't know I was as good as Gok One. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, a fashion designer. Let's see, so what we? you need to do is you need to cut out the crotch. Let's find the one that I did earlier. <laughs> like so. Uh... So you cut out the crotch like this, <laughs> like that, and then add a few little cuts along the, the leg. So if you've got any leggings, you, like, you're going to throw them out or recycle. This is like a, a, a way to just upcycle. Now, hold on a minute. I'm going to try it. Let's have a look. So you put your arms into the leggings like so. Mm -hmm. Then the crotch is like your headpiece. <laughs> that goes over like so. Oh, it's like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, a beautiful T-shirt. Yeah, that's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Do you like it? <laughs> I do. And if you want, you can add like more little holes in to make it really cool. Look, I've got like my arms showing. How sexy is that? For a pair of leggings. For amazing. a pair of leggings, <laughs> it is quite it's quite all right, isn't it? This isn't really my size, but you, know, <laughs> you get the gist. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, there's well some good ones in there. Hammond's hacks coming soon again soon. <laughs>